there were certain pragmatic issues with the work that I needed to make. There's such a huge space, it was quite a short run, very quick get in and very quick get out. Those sort of technical issues were instrumental in me coming up with something that was quite efficient. It would fill the space, but not using tons of material and just something that was quite light. I wanted to try and take this down a notch and make something very silent for a start and then quite distinct from maybe some other things that happened there. So you're in the space, the clock is sort of facing down on you. It's got no face to it, but it's got these arms that pulse in and out and uh, slowly create these triple shadows on the floor. Over time, you'll be able to tell the time from that and uh, maybe infer whatever you want. But if you would only see the floor, whether you would be able to get back to this sort of celestial reality of what was going on above. So it sort of harks back to when we were all led to believe that the world was in the center of the universe and the sun was rotating around us and we were the epicenter of everything. I wanted to really pay homage to the room in a big way and you'll see all this interplay of the shadows on the walls and the columns and the light moving up into the rafters and so you'll be able to see that space completely empty aside from this one central object.